words of encouragement and exaltation and exhortation to the graduates, which, as we've implied already, uh, applies to all of us. So I'll simply be reading to you a few passages, a few verses from Paul's letter to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4. But after preparing this on a card for the graduates and placing it on the table out front, I decided to let that be a customized version for you that you can do the same and let this be the last opportunity, the best time to write a few words of golden, let's see, uh, ap- go, uh, uh, apples of golden, settings of silver, silver, those prudent words just for such a time as this. And uh, these are my words to them and, of course, as to all of us with every step that we take. I remember the day that I decided to apply these words without hesitation, and that path has led me to here in this point to you right now. So bless others along the way. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. Let no one despise you for your youth, which I'll say means in this case, don't let anyone, don't let people use your age as an excuse to justify their misbehavior. They see the example in you. But set the believers an example in all ways. Speech, everything you say. In conduct, everything you do. In love, the reason you do it. In faith, the obvious trust you have, grounded in truth. In purity, the intent of your heart to bless them with agape love. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture. Maybe by application, that would be always studying for yourself and making sure you take those opportunities to tell others about the truth and why you do what you do. To the exhortation and teaching of all who hear. Verse 14, do not neglect the gift that you have, unique to Timothy, no doubt, but we all have talents that we are to be good stewards of. He says, which was given to you by prophecy when the council of the elders laid their hands on you. Verse 15, practice these things. Immerse yourself in them. Always give yourself then to letting how you study the word be lived out and practiced in your life. So that, and here's the key, all may see your progress and maturity of growth. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this. For by so doing you will save both yourself and all who hear you. That's what I wish for each of you, particularly the graduates. Being a Christian in this area of my life? Yes. You mean not just an hour on Sunday morning? No. It is not just to be part of your life. Let God define your life. Those are my words to the graduates today, who will now be specifically mentioned in a few announcements uh, referenced by Steve uh, with other uh, things to focus on. And at this point, turn it over to Steve. Day. All right, I'd like to uh, run through very quickly, but yet honor these uh, high school and college graduates. And when I talk, uh, present you as you stand where you are, and uh, we'd like to recognize you. Um, Ballard Childs, uh, he's in the back. Um, he is the parents of uh, J.J. Childs and Jimmy Childs and grandparents Kathy, uh, Maribel, and Richard. And a lot of the family is here, and that is wonderful. I do love his shirt. It has the University of Georgia on it, so I do like that. Uh, way to go, Ballard. Uh, he is graduating from Unity Christian School. Uh, while at Unity, Ballard had uh, been a member of the Student Council and Robert's team, uh, robotics teams, I'm sorry. He has always been involved in sports and playing basketball, soccer, and golf. Ballard's plans after graduation include attending Kennesaw State University, majoring in political science. After graduating from Kennesaw, Ballard plans to go to law school. Uh, my favorite verse in the scriptures is Psalm 23:4. Yet, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and staff. Uh, they comfort me. And Ballard's message to, uh, to the family and friends and church today is thankful to my family, and for my family and my friends for supporting me and helping me grow. I'm thankful for the Oak Hill family for always being there uh, for my family. Congratulations to Ballard Childs. Um, 
These are our college graduates. Well, we do have one other. I do want to recognize um, a very fine young lady who was here for many years, but they moved on, and that is uh, um, Caitlin Spoon, who is the granddaughter of, of Steve and Becky Holland. And um, Caitlin graduated from Opelika uh, High School in Opelika, Alabama. She plans on attending uh, Auburn University, and we congratulate her for that. And her parents, of course, uh, are uh, that were here many, many years. Is uh, uh, Stephen? I mean Stephanie and Jason Spoon. So congratulations to Caitlin, who graduated from Oakley High School. And I know the grandparents and family and everyone is very happy for this uh, great occasion. I know my. I know my parents were. I was not the best of students in college, so they were very, very happy people. Uh, I'd like to congratulate then the college, uh, Sakara Boswell Cummings. Uh, her parents are uh, Stephanie, Stephanie and Jerry Boswell. Her spouse is Scotty Cummings. She graduated from Berry College School of Business on May the 5th with a master's degree in business administration. Sakara is currently employed at the Scholarship Coordinator of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion at Berry College, and her plans are to continue working there. Favorite Bible verse is Romans 16, 16, salute one another with a holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Sakara's message to family, friends, and church today is, I would like to thank the Oak Hill family for all the encouragement and support. Uh, over the years. So congratulations to Sakara. She is uh, visiting her, her family and friends and especially being with her mother. Um, we do want to recognize Morgan Kelly. Uh, she is the daughter of uh, Wayne and Michelle Kelly. Grandparents Joe and Glenelle Fricks and uh, Linda Kelly, uh, we uh, and her sister Lauren is here. Graduate from Berry College on May the sixth with a bachelor's degree of science and psychology and a minor in chemistry. While at Berry, Morgan was a member of the Phi Chi Honors Society and Psychology um, Honors Organization, and she served as an undergrad researcher. Her immediate plans is to work. Uh, with DFAC student, uh, DFCS students, and Murphy Harpist home in Cedartown. After working there for one year, Morgan will return to college and work on her master's and doctorate degree in clinical psychology. Her favorite verse is, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and loves God. Morgan's message meet, uh, to the family friends and church family is thank you for all your constant support and cards during a challenging time in my life. It means so much. Congratulations, Morgan. And we do want to uh, recognize now Rachel Holbert, uh, the parents of Russ and Sarah Holbert and the family. Uh, she graduated from Georgia State University in December of 2022 with a Bachelor's of Art and Journalism. After uh, graduation, uh, Rachel has already began her work, and she works with McKin McKinsey and Company, a global managing consulting company in Atlanta. Her favorite verse is, For I consider that the suffering of the present times are not worth uh, comparing with the glory of that will be revealed to us. Rachel's message to family, friends, and church today is I want to thank my church family, my personal family, and all the love, kindness, and support of great uh, advice they have given me. I love you all. Congratulations, Rachel Holbert. Certainly, thank you for your time. I did want to be sure to recognize these high school and college graduates, and we are so thankful for their determination 
and the family and love and, and uh, support from not only church family, personal family, and uh, so thankful for this opportunity. The other opportunity, very quickly, I'm wearing a, a number of hats uh, involved with the uh, Rain Tree Village effort in Valdosta. <clears throat> it houses young men and young women. They're involved in uh, counseling, uh, adoption, um, are not experiencing mamas today. <clears throat> so we are reaching out uh, for our annual uh, contribution uh, toward uh, Rain Tree Village in Valdosta, Georgia, and certainly today is an opportunity, if you'd like, next week uh, on the board of the Georgia Agape, involved in uh, adoption of children as well as uh, foster care and counseling. So that will be for next week, but that will be afforded opportunities for you as well. In closing, I do want to recognize a young uh, a mama for, for the third baby, which is great. Uh, his name is Ajax Cephas Lim. He was born March the 9th. 2023 at 9:11 a.m. He is, he weighed six pounds and 11 ounces, and he's the proud parents of Weldon and Kristen Lim, big sister Argyle, and big brother is Atlas. If they would stand, we will recognize this wonderful family. And we do have a bag of gifts for you uh, as you begin this journey the third time. So congratulations.